Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to, uh, what am I playing? I keep always, I always forget, Mountain Blade Warband. Uh, sorry about the abrupt ending to the last episode. Um, for some reason, changing my settings crashed my recording software, and it took me about five minutes to realize that I wasn't actually recording. You didn't miss much. I went from here to here, ran into some bandits, recruited a lot more guys. I have 21 people now. Most of them are crappy, crappy tribesmen. Um, I did some explanations of what all this stuff on the map is, so real quick. This is the Kyrgyz Khanate. This is the Serenid. I don't know what the their title is. This is the Serenids, the Rodox, Swabians, Nords, Vagers. The Kyrgyz are currently at war with the Vagers and the Serenids. Um, I'm not a part of that. I am currently in just a, an independent actor. However, once I get enough renown, I can actually sign on and be a mercenary um, for any army that I choose, but I think I have to be like, l no, I have to be liked by the faction in order to be hired, like this guy, Sanjar Khan. I need to meet him. Uh, do I know you? Huh? At your service. Uh, Sanjar Khan, something, something. And I'm always looking for good men to fight for me if they can prove themselves. Oh. Um, and you can, so, one thing I explained in the last thing is you can sign on to be a mercenary. Uh, during somebody's war, and then they'll assign tasks for you. You can run around, you can fight um, their enemies, um, and you can also uh, become their vassal. Once, like for example, this guy likes you enough, I become a Noyan, which is their term for lord, and, you know, he would, like, if we were at war and I took a castle, he'd probably give me the castle. You can also become completely independent and take a castle or a city, um, and you'll found your own kingdom, but because you are of common birth and because I'm a woman, that would <laughs> that would mean that they would all declare war on me and I'd very quickly get destroyed. Um, just to ask you something, how goes the war? Uh, I need to finish the tutorial before I do any of the missions these guys give me. Uh, and that involves going to the kidnapper's hideout. So, I'll, I'll, once we finish this and when I'm running between cities, I'll talk about more about the, the villages and the castles and the, the, the cities. Uh, approach the hideout. The looters don't appear to have scout... Blah, blah, blah. The looters don't appear to have spotted you yet, and you could still sneak away unnoticed. The difficult approach to the site, down a narrow... De it's just defile, right? Means that only a handful of troops in your party will be able to join the attack. That doesn't make sense. And they will be unable to bring their horses. If your initial attack fails, the looters will easily be able to make their escape and disperse. Do you wish to attack the hideout or wait for another occasion? I'm going to attack, because looters are garbage. No, no, hold on. Follow me. So we've got... Tribesman and a skirmisher, that's fine. So what we're gonna do... is, um... I like the sound effects. Oh, and I have the music off just in case there's, you know, copyright claims or anything stupid like that. Um... Hopefully that will not be a problem. Oh wow, I have a lot more men than I thought. So we're going to sneak down this little valley, defile, def, def, whatever. There's looters there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to park my men here at the mouth of this, and when the looters charge them, they will just destroy them with their bows. So everybody, sit here. Ow, that was a rock. Meanie. Did I just level? I leveled. You need to die. And sometimes it gets a little glitchy. Like, sometimes the enemies don't spawn correctly. Which is aggravating. They're shooting at somebody. That fellow. Yes, good. Die. I'm glad these guys are just such low level, otherwise this would be much more difficult. Because arrows, <coughs> arrows don't do the most damage. Ooh, right in the peck. Ooh, right in the throat. What? Where's that coming from? Aha! Gotcha. 
which again, although that really looks like it should be missing. Wow, four arrows. You're five arrows. You're tough. Wow. This guy's a pincushion. Okay, so there's another guy up there, which is why my dudes are, um, looking up there. I want to go look at Mr. Pincushion. So what should happen is I kill this last dude, and the merchant's brother will come charging out of that house, very happy to see me. Where's Mr. Pincushion? Ooh. Did you just kill someone over there? So they're all running this way. What? <laughs> Why are we running this way, guys? Is there a looter down here? <laughs> what? <laughs> there shouldn't be anything over here. What the? What are you? Wow, okay. I guess there was a guy down here. Oh, wow, yeah, there's a little spawn cave. Hey, there he is. Hello, friend. Thank you. Thank you, my lady, for rescuing me from those fiends. Did my brother and Toga put you onto their track? Yes, I told them that I would find you. I advise you to return to your family as quickly as you can, and be careful on the road. Not like you could travel with us or anything, because that's where we're going. You have to go on your own, because that makes sense. With their retreat cut off, the looters fall one by one to your determined attack. Their hideout and their ill-gotten gains are now yours. Oh look, more useless crap. <laughs> and the uh, farmers... Alright, back to Tulga. So, real quick, there's three different types of things on the map. There's cities, castles, villages. Villages are either attached to cities or castles. Castles are um, generally the easier to do the take between cities because cities have smaller uh, cities have larger garrisons um, like Distar, Distar Castle for example has 137 men you can see the different types there uh, wow that is a huge army cricket horsemen yikes and then Tulga will have somewhere in the order of 200-300 well it should 300 men, and then that's in, and then also, like, if, for example, Sanjar Khan was to come back and sit in Tulga, then it'd have a garrison of, then his men would also be in there. Um, we will very quickly, I will try to become a mercenary and then um, get in some big fights just to show you those huge siege battles. They're very, very fun, and there's, there's tricks to them that you gotta learn. So real quick, wow, sorry if you can hear that, my phone is just going absolutely insane. Let's go to the marketplace, goods merchant, sell some crap. Yes, dried meat is good, doesn't go bad. Uh, head back, visit the tavern. No, 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 merchant of Tolga, anyone else? Whoa. Uh oh. A belligerent drunk. No shooting, no shooting, where are you? Let me kill this guy. Wow, he's kicking my butt. Okay, wow, that's embarrassing. I'm about to lose to a drunk. Can I can I run? I want to just run. <laughs> uh oh. Is he still in there? Is he going to chase me? Okay, so. I need to level up a little bit. A wandering skald. Uh, these guys can teach you songs that you can use to court people. Uh, mercenary swordsman, very good. Don't have the money for that. Ransom broker, I don't have any prisoners. That'll be later. Merchant of Tolga. Well, my brother is home safe. I'm not sure what to do with him. Maybe pack him off to a university outside Cal Calradia. That way, if he gets knocked on the head in a street brawl, no one can say it's my fault. But that's not your problem. Here's the rest of your reward. It was well earned. Um, the money is most welcome, and I'm glad to have been of service. Good. Now, are you interested in making some more? Possibly. What do you need? Remember how I told you that the bandits had an ally inside the walls? I think I know who it is. The captain of the watch, no less. Some months ago, this captain, seeing the amount of profit we merchants were making from trade across the frontiers, decided to borrow some money to sponsor a caravan. 
Unfortunately, like many who are new to commerce, he failed to realize that great profit only comes with great risk. So he sank all his money into the most expensive commodities, and of course his caravan was captured and looted, and he lost everything. As a consequence, it seems, our captain turned to villainy to recoup his fortune. I suppose I'd do the same if, if the heavens forbid, I ever faced indebtedness and ruination. Now any watch captain worth his salary will have a few thieves and robbers on his payroll to inform on the rest, but our captain decides to employ these bastards wholesale. He brings them into the town, lets them do as they will, and takes a share of their take. You've heard of poachers turning gamekeepers? Well, in the unfortunate land of Calradia, sometimes gamekeepers will turn poacher. Luckily, there are still a few brave, honest souls in the watch who've told me how he works. Wow, this is a lot of reading. Now, here's my plan. I could bring this to the attention of Sanja Khan, lord of the city, but that would mean an inquiry. My word against the captains and witnesses can be bought and evidence destroyed, or maybe the whole thing will be forgotten if the enemy comes across the border again, and all I get, I'll get for my trouble is a knife in the ribs. In time of war, you see, a king's eye wanders far from his domain, and his subjects suffer. So I've got another idea. I've got a small group of townsfolk together, some men in my employ and some others who've lost relatives to these bandits, and we'll storm the captain's home and bring him in chains before Sanja Khan, Sanja Khan hopefully with a few captured bandits, bandits to explain how things stack up. All I need now is someone to lead my little army into battle, and I can't think of anyone better than you. Really? There's no one better than me? All right. So, what do you say? How do I know you're telling the truth? Oh, well, I suppose it's possible that I found a dozen bandits who were willing to give their lives to, to give a passing stranger a false impression of, his, of life in old Dolga. Well, I guess you can't really know if my word is good, but I reckon you've learned by now that it, my money is good, and there's another hundred dinars, or maybe a bit more, that's waiting for you if you do me this last little favor. So what do you say? All right, I'll lead your men. Splendid! It's been a long time since I staked so much on a single throw of the dice, and frankly, I find it exhilarating. My men are ready to move on your word. Are you ready? Yes, give them the sign. Good. Now strike hard, strike fast, and the captain and his henchmen won't know what hit them. May the heavens be with you. So this is going to be risky. <clears throat> because there's a lot of bandits, a lot of looters, and most of my quote-unquote allies are just the lowest, or even lower level than the looters, it's really bad. But there should be like one city guard who's half decent, who if I keep him alive will absorb a lot of fire. <clears throat> you leave the tavern and go out to the streets. Nervous looking young men are waiting in every street corner. You can see they have daggers and clubs concealed under their clothes, and catch a mixture of fear, anticipation, and pride in the quick looks they throw at you as you pass by. Praying that your enemies have not been alarmed by this all-too-obvious bunch of plotters, you check your weapons for one last time and prepare yourself for the action ahead. And if the dialogue seems a bit strange, like the, the, the grammar is a bit odd, it's because I think the company that made this is actually Turkish. They did a good job, otherwise. Alright, let's, uh, let's get a move on. Uh, I'm going to stand over by these guards, because they seem like they know what they're doing. It's time, lads! Up and at them! And there's a dude right behind him. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Oh no, you're supposed to... Whoop. Crap. Okay. Stay alive. No. Kurgan Horseman. City Guard, live. Oh crap. Oh crap, there's three of them. Aha, thank you, friends. Oops. You fall down with that last blow, unable to move and trying hard not to pass out. Soon the sounds of fighting filling the streets gives way to the cheers of the townsmen, and you realize with relief that your side won the day. Normally I survive that, but I was on low health, and I'm still pretty garbage. Soon friendly arms pick you up from the ground, and you'll let yourself drift off to a blissful sleep. Hours later, you wake up in the merchant's house. My bad. I, uh, I screwed up that one. Ah, you're alive. That's a relief. You took quite a blow there. I'm not sure that you got any of them yourself. I did. I killed a few. But thankfully, the rest of us were able to beat them. We'll need to see about getting you some treatment. Unfortunately, about 12 of my lads got themselves wounded. I should go look, in, look on 
Look in on them, is what it's supposed to say. Um, I'm glad to see you're alive, too. Yes, yes. Now, a couple of my boys have the watch captain pinned down in the back room with a knife at his throat. I'll need to go drag him before Sanja Khan and explain what this breach of the peace is all about. You don't need to be part of that, though. I'll tell you what, if all goes well, I'll meet you in the tavern again shortly, and let you know how it all came out. If you don't see me in the tavern, but instead see my head on a spike over the city gate, I'll assume you know enough to stay out of town for a while and forget this whole episode ever happened. So hopefully, we'll meet again. Cool. I'm gonna... Whoop. Got a bit glitchy there. Go to the marketplace. Do I have anything useful to sell? No, I already sold it. Head back, leave. Let's just do this. Go to the tavern. Hey, you're not dead. What a relief. Ah, Slaughtermelon. Things didn't go quite so well as I'd hoped. Sanjar Khan couldn't quite find it in him to overlook my little breach of the peace. Oh, he's grateful enough that I got rid of his crooked captain. A guard who let in bandits will let in an enemy army if the price is right. But he can't exactly have me running around here as a lasting reminder of his failure to take care of things himself. That seems hardly f that hardly seems fair. Fair? This is Kalradia, my lady. Kings do what they will, and the rest of us do as they must. He didn't string me up, and instead gave me time to sell my properties, even put in a word with the other merchants that they best pay me a fair price too. That's gracious enough, as, cring as kings go. But he's a weak king, as they all are here, and weak kings must always look to their authority first, and justice second. I suppose I'll do the same. I'd do the same in his shoes. Oh, that's right! There's pretenders to the thrones, and you can actually, like, um, start up um, supporting these pretenders. They're like, you know, brothers or cousins to these kings, and you can, like, start up an army, and you recruit other nobles, and you overthrow these kings, and that's, that's something I might do. So it's either I'm going to go mercenary and then vassal for one of these kings, or found my own kingdom, or support, um one of these outcast pretenders. I might, I could do all three, hypothetically. <clears throat> anyway, I wouldn't go rubbing your part in this affair in Sanjar Khan's face, but he's taken note of you and decided that you're not worth hanging, and that's something to which I'll raise a glass any day of the week. He might even have a work for you further down the road, or you can sell your sword to one of his competitors. Anyway, I hope you've learned a bit about what it will take to stay alive in this troubled land, and I suspect the money you've earned won't go to waste. Good luck. Huzzah! So, uh, town center? Oh, that's right, you can walk around. Can't really do anything. Like, um... Guildmaster. This is something that's, uh... for richer folk. That's something we'll talk about later. Mind your manners within the walls and we'll have no trouble. Cool. And I think this is the palace. Yeah, let's go to the palace. Castle Guard. What do you want? I want to enter the hall and speak to the Lord. You can go in after leaving your weapons with me. No one is allowed to carry arms into the Lord's hall. Here, take my arms. <laughs> I'll go in. Rips arms from sockets. <laughs> Ta -da -da. Anyone home? Nope. Uh, well, sometimes they're upstairs. I don't think he's actually in at the moment. Also, it's night time. Why would he be awake? Ooh, this is... Yeah, they're not home. Oh well. Eh, let's leave. Uh, da 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 da. So now we can literally go do anything. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go this direction because once we get out of the step, the bandits are a bit more manageable, and we can catch them and whatnot. Ah, I need to turn off notifications. Um, we got 21 men. That's pretty decent. Is there a training field? Training fields are pretty fun. It's a decent way to to level. Uh, or I could go run missions. I'll go recruit some more dudes, kill some more bandits. Actually, for now, I need to end this episode because we're getting close to the 20 minute mark. So let's go recruit some fellows. Group volunteers. Yes, please. Farmers. Come on, give me some more bandits. I need bandits to kill. Count Matthias of the Kingdom of Rodox was defeated in battle, but managed to escape. It's another fun mechanic. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, so, we're going to end this episode here. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time.